Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of VCR. My name is Vince. And today, I'd like to talk to you about the 1969 Ford Mustang. And one in particular that caught my eye, and I, and I do have a personal story, too, about the Ford Mustang. So where did the 1969 Mustang catch my eye? And if you guess John Wick number one, the first John Wick movie with Keanu Reeves, you guess right. So the 69 Mustang. So why is this such a cool car? Well, you know what? It looks cool. It's iconic Mustang look. A lot of, you know, newer design Mustangs find its cues in, in this generation of Mustang. Now, John Wick's Mustang. I want to talk to you about John Wick's Mustang. So, John Wick's Mustang was a gray Boss 429. So, Boss 429 is a super rare Mustang, especially that year. They only produced like 860, maybe 859 if that. Huge engine, 429 cubic inch, rated at 375 horsepower. But people claim that it made a lot more, closer to 500. But was it a Boss 429? That's what I have to ask you. And again, if you guessed no, you're correct. It wasn't a Boss 429 in, in the film. It was meant to be a Boss 429, a 69 Boss 429. But obviously, you know, these things are very expensive. I mean, they didn't make much. And one in, you know, pristine condition. And especially on a movie car that, you know, gets destroyed. You wouldn't want to use a Boss 429. Just like in uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, they didn't really use a Ferrari, right? And and that's the common trend for the most part in Hollywood. They'll use a cheaper version because they know they're going to destroy it. And they'll disguise it as whatever Hollywood wants you to believe. Now... It was a 69 Mustang, don't get me wrong, but what kind of Mustang was it? It was a Mach 1, actually, which I think is cool, and they should have ran with that. And a good giveaway w why it wasn't a Boss 429, other than the fact that they didn't make much and who would destroy a you know, very valuable rare car, is the fact that you could see John Wick driving an automatic now, if you know anything about Boss 429s, is they never made them in automatics. So that's a that's a good cue to why it wasn't a Boss 429, but still a cool car. So I want to I want to break down the scene of when we first saw the Boss 429 Keanu Reeves. So Keanu Reeves is driving the Boss 429, and he he's gassing it up at the garage and then the bad guy the guy who plays in Game of Thrones you, you know who I'm talking about <laughs> comes up to Keanu Reeves character John Wick asks how much and he goes it's not for sale <sighs> sets the tone in that car you know that car that especially in that color just matches John Wick's personality super cool and then they went in to John Wick's house they destroyed the house beat up John Wick uh, they took out the dog and they stole the Mustang worst idea ever worst guy to mess with John freaking Wick terrible 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 idea and I'm going to give some stuff away about the movie, so close your eyes if and close your ears if you don't want to hear this, but what ended up happening is John Wick ended up going after these bad guys after they steal the Mustang. They take it to a, like a, a chop shop, and right away, the guy running the chop shop starts getting mad at the bad guy. What, what, what the heck is this? Are you are you are you serious? What is this? You know whose car that you stole it from? Yeah, some guy. No, not some guy. John Wick. 
and then he calls and then he calls the the father and then the father of the bad guy knows what is up and what's going on and that is the story of John Wick 69 Mustang Boss 429 really cool story I wish there was a car scene a car chase rather where all you hear is the engine of the the car and the exhaust type you know make the car louder long tube headers big cam you know loud exhaust maybe straight pipe it put a uh, microphone near the exhaust system and all you hear is the exhaust sound changing the gears that i think hollywood if you're listening if you're making a car chase take two iconic cars and only pay attention to the car nothing else no music no talking just the car you know the 1968 movie bullet you can't top that car chase scene best car chase scene ever it's because they only focused on the car and they had two cool cars at that time so i got a personal story um for the 1969 Mustang so I have a picture on my Instagram actually of my father with his uncle who had a brand new in 1969 red Mach 1 with a 4 speed so the story goes my great uncle would drive the wheels off this car he would be doing 130 miles per hour whenever he had a chance he didn't care in fact there was a commute he did to work that was about an hour and 15 minutes long and he would make that commute in 30 minutes that's how fast he would go and he'd get pulled over so many times by the cops that the cops nicknamed him Mustang man this is what we're talking 1969 1970 this is way back in the day my dad was in a bar one day and he came across two officers that patrolled that area he started talking to them and the officer started saying yeah we patrol that area and my dad's like what hey did you know my uncle he got pulled over by the cops all the time his name was this he's like yeah we used to call him Mustang Man, and we pulled him over so many times that we just gave up and we never pulled him over. Crazy start. Only, only in the in the late sixties, early seventies would that fly. Today they want it. That guy's license would be gone, and everything. But it, crazy story. I love it. What a character. And uh, yeah, I, I just I just love the story. I love the I love the fact that he actually had a Mach One. And he drove it like a Mach 1. Just super cool. He never kept it. And that was sad. And and he's uh, he's not with us anymore. But I remember um, we were talking to him once. And he, he uh, regretted selling the Mach 1. And for the right reason. Like, I mean, it was, a, it was a cool car. Yeah. So that's everything I have to say about the 1969 Mustang. Thanks everyone for watching. Really appreciate it. I really do. If you'd like to like and subscribe, by all means do so. And follow me on Instagram. My link's in the bio. And I'll see you guys next time. Alright, take it easy. Stay good. And um, I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye all. That was good.